Thanks, sir. I'll get the vertebrate back in the air in no time. You should let the lieutenant know. has been deployed While I know that wasn't my Vanessa, it's still a difficult thought to bear. Anyway, it's time to move on. Yes, General. I'm happy your affairs have been resolved. There will be no more distractions from here on out. So, what did you find from the Institute? Intel? Anything to help with our power issues? I've got it right here. This is good information, Captain. Very good information. In fact, please take this. I'm sure it will serve you well. General, I think it's time we brief the Captain on the next phase of our plans. Please continue, Senator. As you may or may not know, we have some history with the Brotherhood of Steel. They know we're in the Commonwealth. After all, they've absolutely heard our radio broadcasts. They just don't know where we are. That changes now. It is time we make our presence known to the Commonwealth. We have the troops. We have the equipment. We have the ambition. Now we send a message. Brotherhood of Steel have set up a forward operating base within North Boston Police Department. I want you to join Captain Peterson and his squad in securing it for the Enclave. What are the details of my mission? You'll rendezvous with Captain Peterson close to the North Boston Police Department. Once there, you and a squad of soldiers will assault the Brotherhood of Steel forces deployed at that location, so that we may use it going forward. I'd like some time to prepare myself before you send me on my next mission. Equip yourself well. No doubt the Brotherhood will put up fierce resistance. Glad to see you're alive and well. that vertebrate? I got the job done. I can always count on you. Thanks again. You really bailed me out there. Whatever the Institute is planning with their sense, it can't be good. General Ward's a brilliant man. He'll lead us to victory. Sir, ready for your next mission? I'm ready to get to work. One last thing. Colonel Whitehill, Senator Matthews, and I are in agreement. You have been an exemplary soldier thus far. And so, you are hereby promoted to the rank of Major. I'm also authorizing a suit of power armor for you. Congratulations, Major. Ma'am. I'm glad you made it to the Institute and back in one piece. Looks like Myers pulled through again. What were you arguing about? The Senator and I were having trouble seeing eye to eye on something. I don't think it's appropriate to say anymore. Never mind, actually. I'll let you get back to it.
Negative. No Always keep your weapon close. We'll destroy the Brotherhood. You can count on it.
officer. Looks like there's a number of hostile Brotherhood troops dug in at the police station. I've done some recon. There's a couple of ways into the building, all of them from the assault. Give the order, and we'll begin. Any mission details? There's a main entrance at the front of the building, with a good chance that there's a lot of hostile soldiers on the other side. At the building's eastern face, there's some scaffolding that can get us roof access. Looks like there's a door on both levels. I think there's probably less Brotherhood soldiers on the upper floors, but the call's yours. Either way, we've got to get rid of them all. Alright, let's go. Soldiers, on me. We need you over here. With the oil rigs factory right behind again, you, sir. We'll have the best gear in the Fire! 
I think we're done here. Good work. Let's see if I can radio in his command. Command, this is Captain Peterson. Do you copy? Reading you loud and clear, Captain. What's your status? North Boston Police Station has been secured. Brotherhood forces have been eliminated. Requesting further orders. Copy that. Maintain position. General Ward is en route via Vertibird. He will be with you shortly. Understood. Thanks, Command. Over now. Well, we better head to the roof. Let's go. General. At ease. Good job, both of you. All right, Major. We've sent a clear message to the Brotherhood of Steel. They know they are vulnerable, and preparations are underway to remove them from Boston entirely. Anything else we're supposed to do here? We'll have a permanent detachment of troops here going forward. It'll serve as an excellent staging point for future operations. What's our next move? Well, as you know, Dr. Kane's priority has been to get the FEV into a workable state. She and Myers have been designing the system that will release the final compound into the atmosphere, and they've identified a component they need. What do you mean by that? Just that. When Dr. Kane has finished her work, the resulting FEV will eject from the oil rig lab as a fine mist. A similar plan was attempted many years ago, but was foiled through no fault of its own due to local meddling. Unfortunately, the, that FEV curling 13 variant is long gone. Dr. Kane is having to reverse engineer it from a sample that is far removed from it. If you want more information, I'm sure she'll be happy to share. You are authorized to know. What do you need me to do? Now, I need you to go to the Hallucigen facility in downtown Boston to recover a hypersonic vaporizer. Once you have it, return to the oil rig and hand it over to Dr. Kane for inspection. What are the details of my mission? Go to Hallucigen to recover a hypersonic vaporizer, which Dr. Kane needs in order to release the FEV when the time comes. Yes, sir. Dismissed.
has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Evacuate the building. Come around the side. Chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building.
Oxygen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our... Listen to me carefully. You cannot go along with this plan. What are you talking about? Look, I'm sure the Senator's peddling this ideal of a world without mutation. If it were that easy, I'd be right there with him. The reality of this is, if Senator Matthews gets his way, the repercussions will be unfathomable. What do you mean by that? For as long as I can remember, Enclave scientists have been trying to modify the FEV to attack mutated tissue in some way or another. Matthews wants Dr. Kane's strain to be as aggressive and indiscriminate as possible. And there's the problem. People like you and General Ward, Enclave personnel who haven't been exposed to radiation for extended periods of time, the FEV wouldn't touch you. But people like me, Enclave remnants who've had to scavenge the wastes for years, we've been exposed to enough radiation that the FEV would end us. And once people catch wind of the FEV, huh, I guarantee they will all band together to destroy the Enclave. They'd be fighting for their survival. We can't let this happen. Are there any other options? What I'm going to propose sounds extreme. Is extreme. But there really is no other option. General Ward firmly believes in the Senator's plan, and we don't have the authority to stop the FEV distribution system from being built. I'm afraid the only choice we have is... to eliminate Senator Matthews and General Ward. Why are you telling me all of this? Ever since you brought those stranded Enclave remnants on the Harper back to base, I got the impression we were on the same page. Loyalty to our fellow soldiers comes above all else. Can I ask some questions? Yeah, please do. What's your plan exactly? Of course I still believe in the Enclave's vision. The United States of America is rightfully ours. We are the country's successor. I believe that with our world-class equipment and facilities, we can take back what's ours through use of force. What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? High Command's response is definitely a concern. There's no doubt they're pushing for the FEV's worldwide deployment, too. Unfortunately, all we can do is be hopeful that they're accepting of my leadership, and that I can run enough interference to derail the plan. If not, we'll have to figure it out. I know that isn't the answer you were hoping for. That's all. All right. So, what do you say? Okay, I understand. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. Thank you. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that you can't gun them down in cold blood. Their deaths need to look like an accident. And they need to die together. That's our best chance at keeping suspicions low. Have any suggestions? Search their offices. Eavesdrop on conversations. You might find something you can use to cause an accident. Let's get started, then. It's no secret General Ward and I haven't seen eye to eye for a while. I think it's best if I stay away, so his death can't be traced to me. I'll be at the Army Depot until the deed is done. By the way, if you get found out, I'm not going to be able to compromise my position and bail you out. So be careful. Good luck, Major. You're doing the right thing.
Flight control's been pounding me. Ward and the senator want to go ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there. Got some King's Diner now. Bakery set up in the flight computer side. Yes, sir. Does Colonel Whitehill have what it takes? She's got big shoes to fill.
Comms have been going crazy. A vertebrate crashed at the oil rig shortly after takeoff. But I think you knew about that already. Do you really think the sacrifices will be worth it? I don't know if this will give you much comfort, but this was the only choice any of us had. First, let me take that hypersonic vaporizer off of you. I'll get it to Dr. Kane. I'm not blind to the fact that in the short term, there's going to be a lot of confusion and pain from the loss of such high-ranking officials. But we need to put that to one side for now. I've heard from Myers. He thinks he's found the solution to the oil rig's power issues. Is that a problem? I won't be allowing the FEV to be released into the atmosphere. But I do still want Dr. Kane to continue her research. I'm sure she can weaponize it in a more direct way. To make our troops' lives easier. And for that, we still need a lot more power for the labs. What's the catch? Myers found mention of a beryllium agitator in both that Institute holotape as well as the dossier you acquired. From what he said, it's the key to fixing the oil rig's power output levels. Only problem? The Institute wanted to. Badly. According to our intel, the agitator is at the old mass fusion headquarters. And I expect the Institute is planning to get it ASAP. It's not more fighting, is it? Unfortunately, it is. The Enclave's about to make another enemy. Something we're all too good at doing. I know you're light on information, but time is of the essence. A vertebrate is being prepared for you at the police station. Captain Peterson has been briefed. Talk to him. And get that beryllium agitator from Mass Fusion. I'll get back to the oil rig and try to handle the fallout from General Ward and Senator Matthews' deaths. Good luck, Major.